Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Leo. So let's get into Leo's energy and see what's coming up. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, clarity and guidance for Leo, please. What's the energy for Leo? Okay, so... I feel like you're trapped in your head. You're feeling very stuck and bound. This could be, uh, I don't feel like you're rushing in or out. I feel like you feel very trapped in your head about a player, like whether or not somebody's a player. You're very much in your head about whether or not somebody's a player. So I feel like you need to release that energy because I don't feel like this person is a player for you, but let's see what happens. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. Give me the energy of all 12 signs around Leo, starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries. Somebody wants justice with a King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. If you're dealing with... If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody's manifesting an ending. So something new can begin. So manifesting, closing out a cycle, like ending a cycle here. This person, if this person was a player, Leo, if you're dealing with a Taurus, uh, they're manifesting ending that. So this person's manifesting um, just completely closing out a cycle. So if he was in a bad cycle of that, it's going to end. If you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like um, somebody's working on equal give and take. This could go two ways. This could be no equal give and take with a third party, or this could be working on generosity, equal give and take. If you're dealing with a cancer, cancer is um, somebody's reconciling with the empress. If you're dealing with a, another Leo, you have somebody recovering they're resting and recovering to have a new beginning of love and abundance. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo is taking a leap of faith with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Libra, so you have somebody moving towards their soulmate quickly for success. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, somebody's very happy. Somebody's happy that you miss them or happy that you have regrets. So Scorpio's energy is happy that you miss them or happy that there's regrets. Or it also could be something's illuminating that they regret. So take it out resonates with you. If you're dealing with, and I'm not picking on Scorpios, that's just the energy that's coming up for them today because boy, their energy has been kind of crazy today. Um, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody is not speaking, but they're waiting. So they're not, they're not talking, but they're waiting. They're yearning. They're, they're waiting for that ship to come in. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this is either an ending of a relationship or a transformation of a relationship. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, somebody is being very patient or finding some kind of balance, single and abundant, pre-empress energy. You're dealing with a Pisces. Pisces, there's passionate communication with somebody from the past. So, Leo, your energy is you're very trapped in your head. Um, feeling stuck and bound, but you're only in your head. You actually can get out of this about somebody being a player. So I feel like this person is there for a good time, not a long time. I feel like you, you're trying to figure out whether or not they are a player. So let's get into your energy and find out why you feel that way. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Leo. What does Leo need to know, please? What does Leo need to know? So there's a relationship here with the Queen of Pentacles, Tau uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be a wife because of the Four of Wands. 
that's a celebration, you know, a foundation. Um, this could be a married woman. Doesn't have to be. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody solid, stable, dependable, that kind of thing. Uh, wife, mother, kind of thing. Uh, but somebody's trying to win at all costs, being very guarded and defensive about reconciling a Ten of Cups, a family situation. You have burden here of a choice to move forward or a soulmate. Somebody's watching, spying, gathering information. They want to apologize and have justice here. Looking at something from a different perspective. So this person, Leo, that you're dealing with, you haven't spoken to this person in a while. They're not speaking. They're just thinking. This person's taking the time to look at something from a different perspective. Could be a Sagittarius. I think they were just waiting. They weren't talking. Um, about the relationship. So somebody's thinking about the relationship, but they're not talking to you about it. There's a victory here, coming back from the battle victorious. I feel like the victory is speaking a truth. But someone's still at a crossroads about which path to take. Under the bottom of the deck, a new passionate beginning. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Leo. What does Leo need to know? Okay. Someone's manifesting a relationship, a foundation, the 1111 card. So manifesting that twin flame energy. Queen of Pentacles. New passionate beginning, or a new beginning of love and abundance. With this Queen of Pentacles, you're already abundant. Now, this could be your energy. You may be coming in as a queen of pentacles, solid, stable, dependable. Um, Leo, for this new beginning, of uh, this is more about your stability and abundance in a situation. But you do have somebody who's in and out. In and out. Your, your energy was you feel trapped in your head about somebody, if they're a player or not. Well, you have a player here. Somebody who's in and out, trying to trying to win at all costs, playing mind games. So this person is a player. This is a clear indication that that's a player. Somebody who's trying to win at all costs, playing mind games, there for a good time, not a long time, right? They, they, they play mind games, they manipulate, they may love bomb. Take it out resonates with you because that's what I'm feeling. And I feel like you're manifesting, you're manifesting a beginning with this person. You feel like this is soulmate energy, um, but you you feel very guarded and defensive because you feel betrayed. You're making a head over heart decision to cut something out. I feel like this is your judgment. I don't feel like you're reconciling anything. I feel like you're making a, a final judgment to cut somebody out of your life because they, they showed you who they really are. Um, right? But there's a 10 of cups relationship here. This may be, okay, this could be two things. I feel like with this, somebody is making a decision to cut something out so they can reconcile, or this is a judgment to cut something out completely. But it could be this player who's trying to win at all costs, playing mind games, makes the decision to knock it off so that they can reconcile because they know Somebody's very guarded and defensive because they've been betrayed. But this was a Ten of Cups relationship, okay? This was a soulmate relationship that you were manifesting this new beginning on. So you're kind of guarded and defensive now with this burden. Your burden here, you're very, I feel like you carried the whole load. You feel very burdened. You're coming in as Queen of Swords now. So the Queen of Swords, strategic, not showing emotion. Got that sword out. If you're going to come at this person, you better come correct because they will... They will slay the dragon. They will. Okay. There's a burden that this person, that there's a choice here. So this soulmate might not be speaking to you now. 
and I feel like this is your energy. Um, Leo, I feel like you're the queen of pinnacles, queen of swords. I feel like, you know, this choice is for you not to speak. You know, this, you could be not speaking to the soulmate. It could be, I choose not to speak to you. It's my choice not to speak to you. Or this could be a soulmate that you're not speaking to. Somebody is moving on because they're brokenhearted. They got their eye. They're watching somebody from out in the cold. They do want to apologize. They're mastering their emotions to apologize. To have justice with equal give and take. So this person does want to give to you. I feel like this is this player um, deciding that um, they're going to cut out the crap to try to reconcile with you because they do realize you're their soulmate. You wanted this in the beginning. That's the energy you felt with this person. But they acted like a player. And they broke your heart. They betrayed you. And now they realize they're trying to master their emotions to apologize. You could be dealing with a uh, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, they want justice with equal give and take here. So were you trapped in your head because they're a player? Yeah, they were a bit of a player. So you have taken the time to look at something from a different perspective. and You're not speaking about this relationship with this person. Um, somebody's working on holding on to take that leap of faith into a relationship. They're watching you. They're watching you. They're watching you here too. They're watching you from out in the cold, right? They're watching. They want a victory. They want to speak the truth and they're, but they're at a crossroads. They want a victory. They want that new passionate beginning. They want to communicate in divine timing. They're trying to be patient. They're closing out a cycle. They're ending something so they can start something new. Now, um, the Taurus was doing this. They're closing out a cycle. So if somebody was th thought somebody was a player, they're ending a cycle so that they can be um, start anew the right way, right? Um, passionate communication. King of Pentacles. King of Wands. I feel like emotional communication about a relationship, something long-term and committed. So I feel like your energy is that you're coming in. Uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You really could. Or you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, but I feel like for this, um, I feel like you're masculine energy. Even if you're feminine, you're masculine energy here. Uh, because you're going to have a communication with this person. This, this king of pentacles, right? And it's going to be emotional communication about something long-term and committed. It will happen. This person is going to close out a cycle and they are going to come try it coming. They're going to come to you correctly, Leo. They are going to come to you correctly. That's what I'm seeing. They're coming correct. So Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Leo. This is what's hidden. I don't react when people mention you. I lost myself for a little while. And I want to feel that way again. Wow. That's deep. And, and, and it, this is a message. And I, I almost want to say. Um, I almost want to say Carly. I think this one's for you. You speak to me through music. Wow. Wow. Um, to all the Leos out there, if you use music as a way to communicate, that's definitely a deep one. I know, I know my friend does. So, um, Leo, they want to feel that way again. They lost themselves for a while and um, they don't react when people mention your name. They don't because um, I feel like they keep that close to the, close to the chest. Freedom. So whatever this is, they're going to, they're going to come to you protection and flow. So you got freedom, protection and flow. I feel like everything's going to flow and whatever this is, they're getting freedom from it. They're ending a cycle. 
Um, and I feel like they're protected. You're protected. And things are going to start flow. Under the bottom of the deck, you have flexibility. Um, I feel like you need to be flexible if you want this. I feel like that flexible meaning listening to this person possibly. You don't have to. You don't have to take them back. If that's not what you want, this is nobody's forcing you to do anything. But they're saying be flexible if you want it. Listen to what they have to say. Be flexible. So, Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. For Leo. Wisdom. Hope. And celebration. Wow. I feel like for this wisdom to be here, this person saw the light. Whatever they found in that hanged man position, that they looked at things from all angles, either you or them looked at it from all, from all angles. They saw it clearly. They recognize who you are to them. They're, they're having hope that they will celebrate this situation with you. They're hoping. And under the bottom of the deck, new beginnings. So, Leo, I'm going to take this to the extended and get you some more clarity. So if this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.